Hi everyone, my name is Kong Yang and I work at Khmer Labs. And today I'm going to be doing a short video, uh, the differences between an iPad and an Android device, uh, focusing on the BI Launchpad and the Webby report. So to the left right here, I have an iPad 2, and to the right I have a Toshiba Thrive. Uh, the Toshiba Thrive has an Android operating system on that. And so focusing to the left right here, this is the iPad. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to execute a sales report that I created. And so if you notice, you know, typically, you know, you think that you could just click on the report and then it'll execute, but you can't really do that since it's a touch screen, I guess. You know, you can't double click on that. So you have to go to the uh, toolbar and hit view to execute it. And then your Webby report executes. So, you know, as you notice, you know, the, your web report, you can scroll up and down. But one of the things that we found out at the labs is that you can't scroll left and right. Um, and another thing is that, you know, it's a long scroll to get all the way to the bottom. But overall, I mean, you know, if you created a report and you wanted to access it through the launch pad, you know, it's a limitation that you'd have to take into effect and that, you know, you know that this is the amount of space that you have to build your web report on. You know, your objects to the side are still clickable. Uh, some of the functionality is still available. So I'm going, I'm going to go ahead and pull this up on uh, ACP BI mobile uh, intelligence. Go to my report. I'm going to pull up the same cells report. And so this is the same sales report that I had on the launch pad. Uh, you know, as you notice, it's a little bit different than what I created. But, you know, this is the uh, application that you can download on the iPad for free from SAP. And you could pretty much just toggle in between, play around with it. So now I'm going to shift the focus onto the Android device. Um, I've, I've already pre-launched the report. You know, it's running. And so one of the benefits on the Android device is that you could scroll left and right if you needed to. You know, you get that read and design mode that you wouldn't get on the iPad because you can't scroll left and right. And then when you scroll, you're scrolling up and down on the report, not on the uh, platform. The majority of the functionality is still here, too. Um, you know, I believe Webby requires at least two gigs of RAM, but you know this tablet only has one gig of RAM, and it's doing okay at handling this. But one thing that one thing to take note from the uh, tablets is that you can't click and drag, and so that's a limitation that you'd probably have to think about when building these reports too. It's going to be more of a static report than anything. All right, that's my short video, and hope you enjoyed it.